You want an RV that'll sleep up to 10 and you want to know what to do with this? <laughs> I'm going to show you. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the all-new Coleman Lantern 337BH, one of their biggest ones. 37 feet 11 inches, roughly 8,600 pounds dry, 8548 for splitting hairs. I can sleep 7 to 10. But what's unique and cool about this unit, I talked about what are you going to do with this thing? Well, right over here on the off-camp side, in the super slide, houses your oversized dinette. So what Coleman did was they said, hey, we're going to give you, if you want the booth dinette set up, you can 100% have the booth dinette set up. You want to do a U-shaped dinette set up, take the table out, take the legs out. This piece here is a removable support for the U dinette, which also means it's going to be a support when you break this thing down into a bed. So, move the cushion, set this down. You got this cushion right here, goes in place, and then you have your backers. Set the legs in the holding spots, and guess what? You have yourself a spot for a U-shaped dinette with the table. Reduce it down, it's now an oversized bed because it's an oversized U dinette as well. I like having that form and functionality as well as opportunity. I like the, how I got the storage underneath as well. Solid wood balances with the pleated shades. Wood inlay here with my mushroom lights. Then I come over to my sofa and love this option, the footrest. It's just a little thing that'll make the camping experience that much better. Pull this out with the handle and you got yourself a sleeper. Coming on around, we're gonna come over to the HVAC controls as well as our water heater controls. Now on this one, you do have a 15,000 BTU AC to go along with the high output furnace. If I'm not mistaken, we are pre-wired for a second AC. So if you wanna put a second one in, you can put it in the master, which we'll show you. Right over here on the angled wall, making your way over to the campsite, is going to be the entertainment center. Solid wood cabinetry, shaker style cabinets, entertainment, console, spot right here, put your TV. You do have a GFCI outlet. You got your boosted wine guard, AM, FM. No, not AM, FM, wine guard. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, yeah, Wi-Fi, signal boosting, 4G, LTE, you know, entertainment. Getting the Wine Guard signal booster just helps with pretty much everything, so I highly recommend getting it. You do have your AM, FM command center right here with HDMI as well as USB. It's also Bluetooth, so you can program into there. You got your roughly 5,000 BTU fireplace right there. It is electric with multiple flame setting and multiple light setting. But what I like about this, let's say you just come back from hiking, it might be a little bit cold outside, or you just need a spot to put the shoes. You got a little mini mud storage right here. Cut the fireplace on. It'll warm the shoes up too. Pretty nice. Your command panel right there. Check on your three slides, run out your awning, as well as cut on the lights, the water pump, and check the status of your batteries as well as your tanks. Little hangers inside the closet here. Just kind of continuing that little mud room or maybe entry storage spot. Uh, but I like how they just maximize the space from angling the entertainment center, giving me some storage to the double slides, opening up this kitchen area, allowing for an island kitchen with the pressed surface countertop. You got that molded edge all the way around. It's rounded so you don't have the sharp corners. Kids running around inside of a bunkhouse, they bump their head. They're not going to hurt themselves. Undermounted gunmetal stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet. The thing I like about what Coleman does, they listen to their campers. You say what you like and what you don't like about the RVs, Coleman implements those changes. You also got solid wood construction on your drawers, full extension with the ball guides there. Ever chill fridge freezer combo. This beauty here is a 12 volt, and look at the space that we have there. Yeah. I like the Everchill because they're also vibration smart and frost resistant. So very nice and being 12 volt, you can run it while going down the road. Come over to your kitchen prep area. Got the oversized 48 inch window here. You got the decorative, I like to call this kind of Spanish tile looking backsplash. 
Uh, I don't know if that's correct, but for some reason, that's just what I think of whenever I see it. Flush mounted microwave. More storage up above the hood. Recessed three burner cooktop with glass cover. I got me a little 16 inch Greystone oven. Got me a ton of space for storage from the cabinets underneath to even the cabinets uh, here under the sink. I mean, you just got space for days. And those magnets are strong. I think I just dislocated my shoulder. It's beautiful. 80 inches, ceiling height, mushroom lights, blade distribution system. So that gives you about 30% more effectiveness on the cooling. And I like how they gave us extra lights too. I think in the past we haven't had as many mushroom lights. So seeing that actually makes me a little happy. Once again, something that was probably suggested that Coleman jumped on. And Coleman knows camping. They've been building campers for over 60 years. So they know what they're doing. Frosted glass inlay here in the storage above the buffet or the coffee station, whatever you want to use it for. This to me just kind of makes it look a little bit more residential. Um, looks cool. I got the high space, I got the light, coffee, buffet, or just some plants making it decorative. I really like it. Just a cool space, just a cool living area. But the calling card for the 337BH is the separated bunk room. You got the door. Whether it's for the kids, whether it's for the adults, this is a good space. A lot of times when you do have a bunk room that has a bunk in the slide, you're gonna get the two-person dinette. This is an oversized dinette and a double bunk over. 150 pound capacity, but it's got the latches to lock it up in place. This reduces down into a sleeper as well, but a lot of times you only get like this much space. Having this area really opens it up to teenagers, to adults. If they're having a meal in there. People want to have a meal in here or play board games in there, card games in here. You have two separate dining and living areas where people can sit down, reconnect, make those memories and make RBN so awesome. You don't know that you're doing it until years later. And that to me is what's so awesome about it. Rear wall, a spot for a component. Got power. Uh, we could probably put a TV somewhere. Mm. Uh, I'll just find a stud, mount a TV. You got some component shelf. Got some ward storage over here under the other double bunk. Right there, plus a good spot for shoes, maybe board games. Maybe in one of those small little plastic tubs you can use as a laundry basket. Drawer shelf right here. I do have cable and power so the TV could go here. I think I'd put it on the back wall though. I'd try to modify it. And maybe make sure, yeah, you know what? It's your RV. You put it where you want to put it. Just make sure our service folks guide you on that. Don't listen to me about where to install stuff because I'm the guy that put a TV on the roof of a vehicle one time. Uh-huh. Hideaway ladder. 300 pound capacity on the double over. Dual USB charging. Window. AC unit. Really, the only thing missing would be a half bath. That's the only thing I could think of that this unit might need. But for... How Coleman builds their RVs, this is entry level. You still get upgraded residential style flooring. You still get high output furnace, high output AC. You get a fireplace. You get a huge versatile dinette. And then you get a bathroom that I got to tell you, the space is not bad. High rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. I got storage under my vanity and sink right here. I like the matte black on that. Medicine cabinet there, hangers here for my uh, bright pink magenta, actually, uh, bathrobe. All right, I got the raised lips there, and the Neo Angle shower. It, it, Aaron and I both agree, though. All right, it's vent, fan, corner notches, shower nozzle. Got a little extra store, storage spot up there. It's right on time. This. If you like it, I'm sorry. I just, everybody's got their own style. I mean, look at me. Queen size bed nestled in the front cap. And when I first came in this area, the thing that stood out to me was being a bunkhouse that could sleep seven to 10 people, the noise would get to me. But being up here in this confined space, you can probably hear it by the way, you know, the, the sound has kind of changed. 
this is almost like a sanctuary now. It's kind of closed off. You got the, the pocket door here. You got the queen size bed. You got the nightstands with the pull out drawers on both sides. So good space there. Mirrored wards on both sides, USB as well as 110 over here on the campsite. And then if you do need it, you got some storage space underneath. So that's pretty good. But this would be the escape. Cause yeah, I got this big giant window here, but with the bathroom being there, that's gonna also absorb the sound from all the noise going on in the bunk room and the living area. And the bunk room has its own door, pre-wired for second AC too. So entertainment and everything's on that wall. Not crazy about that, um, but you got your cable connection and power. I'd much rather have it here, but gotta tell you, for that family that's looking for their first bunkhouse RV, just check in the boxes. All right, let's go check and see what we got outside. Don't you close me in it, Aaron, Aaron. So here we are on the outside of the Coleman Lantern 337BH. Let's start with some of those features you're gonna find up front, like power tongue jack, twin 20 pound LP tanks, battery rails for your battery box. Plus, if you do wanna get those briefcase solar panels to trickle charge battery, you got the quick connect right there. You got the 10 inch single weld aluminum frame there, which really gives you a good support of this coach. Come over to the campsite. You do have some magnetic clasps for your storage doors. And you look in here, the, the pass through storage is finished off. And yes, you do get a grill because, well, I'll show you once we get to the back. Set up for tire pressure monitoring, 100%. You're prepped for it, go ahead and get it. It's something you should get with every RV. You also have your inverter prep and your future solar charge controller prep right there as well. You switch for your power stabilizer jacks. You also got the insulated and enclosed underbelly on this one. Sealed safety windows all the way around, external marine grade speakers, extra large awning. I mean, with the LED light strip, does a good job covering this coach. Got the power, GFCI outlet right there, black tank flush, friction hinge door with solid step over steps. These are the LCI steps. So the top one's gonna be bigger, got the grip tape, great for extra safety and security, but also great for the pets. Got the slide there. Note the slide toppers. Yeah, yeah. Furion water heater. Check out my outside kitchen though. Yep, oversized, I used to call this the college dorm fridge. Uh, oversized fridge right there. Got some storage thanks to the cabinets. You are plumbed with a sink, which is very nice. And you got some storage drawers out here. But check this out. Yeah, this is a rocker switch. LP quick connect, yeah, that's sweet. This is the mount for that grill that we saw in the past through storage. You mount it onto here, this unlocks and folds around so you have a kitchen and a grill. The LP quick connects right there, boom, you're set up just like you set up for backup camera prep right there. Also got the arch ceilings, the rain nozzles, slide toppers. Got your 50 amp plug right there. Come around and it's gonna be a little tight to see, but right there is your terminations. So the great thing about Coleman, they give you some of the biggest tank capacities you're gonna find. You got a 60 gallon fresh tank, 84 gallon gray and 42 gallon black. It's pretty daggone big. Good space, good space. Black tank flush right there. Very nice to have. And of course, your external command center right here with a spray port. I like how you got the porthole there so you can secure your connections if you need to. Cable, power, and your city water, as well as the other side of your pass-through storage. Now, info panels are great because they let you know how much does the RV weigh when it comes to the gross? For example, unloaded on this one, 8526, gross 11,176. That's the information you need to take back to your specialist at Camping World. And you say, all right, uh, so explain to me what that means. Be at the end of the day, whatever you're towing with, how many people you need to go camping and where you want to go camping, we get that information, we'll find the RV that's gonna be right for you. But if you're looking for that first family RV, you can tow something that gross weight's gonna be 11,000, which means it's fully loaded. You never ever wanna fully load anything, period. But I mean, for 37 feet, 86, 8,700 pounds, dry, I could sleep seven to 10 with that bunk room and all that separation of space, Coleman Lantern 337BH should be at the top of your list 
if that's what you're looking for. And the best part about it is, since it's Coleman, you can find it today at your local Camping World. So please leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. Uh, click like, subscribe, and notify. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed the 337BH, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.